Okay, I know a lot of people have been asking the difference between a, a GTR and a GTX. So I thought I would explain it in the simplest possible terms I can. So, here we have the GTR. And just underneath it I'm going to put a GTX. GTX GTR Two types of pilot Those that like to fly straight are fun too but really the GTR is for this and the GTX is for this Going places, it's not them. So, I mean, what do you think about the differences between the GTX and the GTR? I mean, obviously, we've created two wings now, um, and uh, some some people are a little bit mixed up, I guess, with uh, what the, you know, everybody knows what the GTR is, but uh, I think there's a few surprised people out there who are wondering what the GTX is, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's quite a shock for everybody. We've gone in one direction, which was slalom, and we kind of done that and then and then and then from all the information we got from that we built something which is completely the opposite really which is a, a wing for going places you know in rough turbulence in a straight line so and also fun to fly too so we've 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 managed to now divide the sport into two camps really a wing that does this and a wing that does that you know and uh, and they really are the, the two styles of pilot I mean if you take a club and maybe ten people yeah. you know you're always gonna have a, a couple of guys who just love to throw it around and be seen and all the rest of it. Well, that's the GTR. Then the other six guys, they just want to go places with their family or go places together as a group, like a flock, yeah. and just, just go on a trip, you know, on a weekend. You know, and that's really what the GTX is all about. I'm very excited by the GTX. It's really a very really beautiful way to do with it. And also, we, we, we changed our image to go with it as well, and that's kind of like a new, new thing. Not only does it capture that whole spirit of aviation, you know, the development of aviation. I mean, we're not so different, really. We're just a, we're just a hundred years on. You know, uh -huh. yeah. um, uh, you know, it's almost identical adventures were taking place in the early part of the 19th century or 1930s. Everybody wanted an aeroplane and fly places. Well, paramotoring is that. Yeah. We recreated that yeah. and captured it in, now in this. Uh, and in, well. in our new logo and everything, and, and um, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And also the fact that if you're going cross country, you need to be seen. And the whole idea of that, that I think, or the, or the seed, the reason that they paint those circles on airplanes. The target. The target. Or maybe it's not really a target, they call it a rondo. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. and, and, and the rondo comes from the fact that when you're out there, in, the human body is trained, your, your eyes are trained to recognize another eye at a distance. If somebody looks at you at 100 meters, you see that they look at you because in nature it's the most, un, you know, most remarkable thing. It's that the eye is the most visual thing out there. 